Well, I just went to FedEx to pick up my new batteries and inverter and a few other things. Ordered from Battleborn, that's two and a half weeks ago now. It was supposed to be delivered yesterday, but there was some kind of screw up. They didn't have the right phone number to call. So I called them today and just decided to go pick it up. Well, I've just uh, got all my materials to start, start the solar project on the RV. Right now I have two batteries just drop in replaced. So I have a total of four Battleborn batteries I'll be using, but I got two to work with in here. I got my 3000 Multi Plus. I've got my solar charge controller, the battery monitor, uh, a whole bunch of uh, peripheral stuff, wiring, fuses. Here's my test bed for the Victron Multi Plus 12 volt 3000 watt inverter and I've got two Battleborn batteries connected to it. I've got charge coming in to AC in with this plug and AC out is I have an outlet connected to it. Turn that light on, it works. And right now I am absorption charging these two batteries. Looks like all is good. The little toggle switch is in the on mode, so it does both. I am a total amateur. Do not do, do not follow my lead. But I've got it to work. It's pretty relatively simple. This is heavy duty wire. This is 4 aught wire with um, 4 aught lugs and uh, I don't know, marine grade, but heat shrink that has glue on the inside. All right, well, we're still charging. And we just thought of something we could test that we haven't done before. So we are going to unplug by shore power while it's still in the on position. And I wonder if the light goes out. The light did not go out. Inverter light came on. That's actually pretty cool. Multi Plus is fully hooked up. It's got an AC input, AC output, and the DC connected so that it can invert. Just to show you. Simple hookups. Well, I'm going to take these batteries out because these cables are going to be the ones that I'm going to have to lengthen to go in there where I install the all four batteries. So I'm taking them off, marking each cable. B1 plus means it's going to the first battery to the plus positive terminal. Good morning, everybody. This is our couch. It's a fold out couch that goes down to a bed. And we are installing four Battleborn batteries. And it looks like I have room for one more in the future right there. And I will be hooking up battery monitor, bus bar, on the, those are the negative on the positive side it's a fuse an on off switch for the battery bank and another bus bar and very close to there is the original spot where the batteries were and I have these wires that I will replace with longer ones that will go back up to those bus bars which is just a couple feet and I'm sure I'll use 4 odd cable, so bigger than what's there. All right, directly behind where the batteries are, I'm installing the Victron Multi Plus inverter charger. And the wires will come from this side. And the DC wires will go directly in there. And that'll be charging those batteries and then the AC in and AC out right there and those will go through this sidewall of the compartment and into the 
current fuse area. So it wasn't really hard to take the couch apart to this state. Um, the back that bolts onto here, the bottom bolts onto here. So there's only four bolts for each one. And then the front that I took out is screwed in here. In between here, compartment, we'll drill some holes and run the wires that need to go back and forth. Overall, while I'm taking my time, it's going along pretty good. Thanks to a lot of research on Facebook, YouTube, websites, everywhere. But I'm no expert at this stuff. I've never done it before, so do your own research. Well, we got the batteries all connected. We got the shunt connected. We've got the fuse down there. We've got the switch, the two um, bus bars, and we even have the battery monitor just plugged in. It's showing 13.35 volts which two of the batteries were at and two were at 13.6 so hopefully they equalize on their own anyway got a lot more to do got a hook to the inverter which is below it and then got to run the wires for the original rv dc system through here but went slow takes a while it's a lot of work a lot of little pieces you got to think about if you've never done it before. But we'll get there. <laughs>